Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleed channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So I've got the Whirlpool Under Counter 50 Pound Ice Maker. Gonna do the review on it today. We're gonna go over the specs. We're gonna go over what's required to get this thing installed. We're gonna take a look at the ice maker, how it makes ice. We're gonna go over all the strong points, any drawbacks it might have. Take a really close look at it also going to let you know if I love this ice maker, if I don't love this ice maker, and let's get into the video, let's check it out. Alright, so this Whirlpool ice maker is a 50 pound ice maker with a 25 pound storage capacity. So what exactly is a 50 pound ice maker? Like what does that mean? So what that means is it makes 50 pounds of ice per day. So it's got a 25 pound storage capacity, so you can empty that out, it'll make another 25 pounds empty that out again and then it'll make another 25 pounds so there that's where you get your 50 pound ice maker so this whirlpool ice maker is what they call an under the counter ice maker or a built-in now i suppose you could use it as just a separate ice maker somewhere if you wanted to i mean it's a great looking unit you just have to have the hookups for it so first off you need a standard 110 outlet which you probably already have if you have either a dishwasher or garbage disposal Second, you need a half inch water line, which you may already have or you may have to tee off to an existing water line. And then third, you need just a drain, which you've already got if, if you're anywhere near a kitchen sink. The size maker comes with a reversible door. It also weighs in 96 and a half pounds. The ice maker is your standard 15 inches wide, so it'll slide in under your countertops. It's 25 inches in depth and then it's 33 inches in height. Pretty standard. So this particular ice maker comes with what they call clear ice technology. So I've dug into that a little bit. All that means is it removes the bubbles from the water. And does it work? Yeah, it actually works. This Whirlpool ice maker comes with a fast ice option and it also comes with an optional water filter built right in, meaning you don't have to buy the water filters if you don't want to. So here's a quick look at the ice machine and this is how it fits under the counter. Here's a link to the installation right here. You can check that out. But it looks really good. Slides right in with the cabinets there. Let's open it up, take a look at the inside. So it does have a little LED light on the inside. Got all your ice right here. Here's your scoop. You've got some different buttons right here. This is your water filter. So a little bit closer look at these buttons here. So you've got your on off button, you've got your clean button, and then you've got your fast ice button. You'll notice above these buttons there's also some lights and some things going on here. So it says cleaning complete. It says order cleaner. Cleaning needed. Add cleaner. And then this over here says replace. This is your filter notification. So replace filter, order filter, and then again your fast ice. And again, this is your water filter. Water filter is optional on this. You don't have to use it. I don't have one in there right now. And the ice is fantastic. So a quick note on my uh, ice maker here. I got it hooked up through the reverse osmosis. So I don't have a need for the optional water filter on this one. So let's take a quick look at the ice. And again, it does have a fast ice mode. You can just hit that right here. Gives you a little light indicator. And you have a big party or you're just going through the ice like crazy, you'll want to hit that. Let's see if we can see a little bit better in there. tray has quite a lot of ice down in here. So what happens is it's got an element in the top of this ice maker and instead of having to break up your ice cube it actually uh, has a separator that heats and drops these ice cubes down in here. And so that's awesome. Our old ice maker you actually had to take your um, take your scoop and you actually have to break these up no longer so this is amazing so as far as ice cubes go 
makes awesome little square cubes. One size fits all. That's what your ice cubes look like. Clear little square cubes, about half inch square. There's an ice cube for you right there. They last a long time. Like I say, you don't have to break them up or anything, which is awesome. And just great drink ice too. All right, so one of the drawbacks I had mentioned is sometimes the scoop holder does get some ice in it, but check it out. So you've got a little scoop holder right here. Sometimes it does get ice in it. You have to push the ice out in order to get your scoop back in. Totally first world problem right there. Okay, so hooking this up is very straightforward. You've got your power right here, standard power plug. You've got your drain hose right here. Just do a standard drain line. And then you've got your half inch water line right back here. Okay, so as far as the sound goes, this is honestly a really quiet ice maker. I'm gonna be quiet here for just a second and see if you can hear this thing at all. And take you right down near the floor and try to get you to see if you can hear anything from that motor. That's as loud as it gets, folks. Microphone's right up near the motor. So this Whirlpool 50 pound ice maker is running 2200 bucks. There's a link in the description where you can find it. I found it at Home Depot. There might be some other links. If I can find it cheaper, I'll link you. All right, let's go over the six strong points of this Whirlpool ice maker, starting right now. Strong point number one, this ice maker has a really quiet motor. Like when we swapped out our old ice maker, we didn't even know we had an ice maker anymore. You don't even hear it. Strong point number two, this ice maker makes ice really fast. Like if you're having a party or something going on, if you need the fast mode, you hit the fast mode and it just cranks out the buckets of ice. Strong point number three, this ice maker makes really clear ice. And if you wanna put the water filter on, you can, and it'll make it crystal clear. Strong point number four, the ice does not clump up at all, which is awesome. So strong point number five, you don't have to break up the ice sheets. Our old one would just drop it in a big sheet and you had to take the scoop and bust it all up. This does the work for you. Strong point number six, this ice maker was really straightforward and easy to install. There's a link to the video right here for that one. All right, time to go over the three drawbacks of the Whirlpool 50 pound ice maker, starting right now. So drawback number one, this has a small opening to access your eyes. But looking online, it looks like they're all built this way nowadays. So drawback number two, you can't remove the entire ice bin or the ice bucket. Like our old one, you could pull out the whole ice bin and dump it in a cooler. I do miss that. Drawback number three, trying to put your scoop back in. Sometimes that scoop holder is full of ice. I know, not a deal breaker. It's totally a first world problem, but worth a mention. All right, so what's my overall conclusion on the Whirlpool 50 pound ice maker. So this thing is amazing. If I had to compare it with the old one, I would take this one in a heartbeat. Uh, this one is definitely worth the price. I would give it two thumbs up. So what makes it worth the price and why do I recommend it? I recommend it because it is so quiet. It makes ice fast it makes clear cubes and it makes these perfect little square cubes as you saw in the video and that's why I love this ice maker. So I would give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. The only reason I knock off a half a star is because the opening is kind of small and I don't like that and you can't pull out the entire ice bucket. I got spoiled with the old ice maker but that thing lasted for five years and I just got used to pulling out the bucket and dumping it in a cooler. That and the opening is a little bit small. But this thing is so quiet it makes ice so fast and I love the ice cubes and the fact that you don't have to bust up the ice. So I'd go out pick one up if you're thinking about getting an ice maker or if you've got one that's breaking down and you need that thing replaced. This is an easy install you guys. It's worth every cent. There's a link in the description where you can find it. 
I hope you found this video really helpful. Please be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you went with this ice maker. If you found another brand, just leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Also check out these other videos I've got going on and I'll catch you guys later.